Douglas Adams, best philosopher ever. Maybe, the, I think, best book in philosophy ever, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Um, this book is so deep, uh, people don't even understand. I guess when I was in the, around 12 or 13, I had kind of an existential crisis, and I was reading various books um, on trying to figure out the meaning of life, and or, like, what does it all mean, because uh, it, 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 it sort of seemed quite meaningless, and then um, uh, my, we happened to have like some, some books by Nietzsche and Schopenhauer in the house, which you should not read at age 14. It's really <laughs> negative. Um, then I read uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which was like, quite positive, I think, and, um, uh, and it sort of highlighted the, 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 an important point, which is that a lot of times the question is harder than the answer. And if you can properly phrase the question, then the answer is the easy part. Um, and so, uh, the, if, to the degree that we can um, better uh, understand the universe, then we know, better know what questions to ask. And um, then whatever the question is that most approx approximates what's the meaning of life, <laughs> you know, that, that, that's, that's the question we could ultimately get closer to understanding. Um, and so I thought, well, to the degree that we can expand the scope and scale of consciousness and, you know, and knowledge, um, human knowledge, then that would be a good thing. Nobody has any idea what the meaning of the universe is. <laughs> um, the best book I read on that was Douglas Adams' uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Uh, Douglas Adams is awesome. Douglas Adams is one of the great philosophers of, of all time. Not recognized as such, but he is. Well, I think the most interesting thing he said was it's not that that the question is harder than the answer and you know the Chinese guide to the galaxy the earth turns out to be the giant, giant computer to, to answer the question what is the meaning of life um, comes up with the answer of I think 42 uh, and then people are like well what the hell's 42 um, and then it turns out no really it's the question that's the hard part and that takes a much bigger computer than Earth to figure it out. When we ask questions, they come along with all of our biases. And so that there are so many things implied in the question that you should really ask, is that the right question? And that's very hard to figure out.